Yeah, <laughs> it'd be like that would be the story. You'd be him. All right. <clears throat> It's the Weekend Top 30 Countdown, Song 19, Tyler Cruz with Hire, and producer Michelle jumping in here real quick to say hello and introduce properly Sick Puppies, our guest host this week. Thank you. How you, you doing? Hello. Fantastic. Thank you. Right on. You have a career in radio. We're trying. It could, it could happen I, someday. I actually think we're going to do a lot better now that you're in the room personally. <laughs> but yeah. All right. So Sick Puppies, you guys left Australia, came to Los Angeles, and you know, your, the free hugs thing, and you've had a lot of hits on rock radio, and now pop radio's embracing you, so it's pretty fun, because you're, you know, I've seen you live so many times, I just think you're such a great band to see perform, and Thank you. you really get the crowd going. I mean, I think it was out in Riverside last Christmas, at that Christmas show for that station. Uh, that was, that was a great show, actually. Yeah, we yeah. walked in when you were on stage, and it was like, oh my god, and then you had everybody in the crowd, like, hold hands, and yeah. all that, so I was like, what the heck, it was super cool, though. It was fun, yeah, that was really, yeah, that was a really good way to end the year, and Song, shows are always fantastic when there's a lot of people. There's a different dynamic when there's a lot. But, I mean, you you were there at the Capitol launch as well, weren't oh, you? Oh, yeah, yeah. And there was, was not fun. as many people. Yeah, it's a the it's, And it's like a different vibe, and you've got to sort of change this, the, 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 the set and what you're doing between the songs mm -hmm. for less people, but you still got to try and make everyone feel good. So it's, you know, it's fun all the time. So one thing I think is interesting about you guys is the cover you do of Say My Name. Yeah. That's like totally, I mean, for anybody listening, check it out on YouTube right now. Sick Puppy's covering Say My Name, Destiny's Child. It's, Beyonce would be off her rocker if she heard this. I think she's heard it. <laughs> it's awesome. I, I think, think she's pissed. I think yeah. she's heard it, yeah, because they banned it. They banned the song. I mean, whenever I introduced the song before we play it, we recorded that. The way that song came about was because... It was a hit. Oh, I was number one for three months or something, like yeah. forever. It was one of the biggest hits ever. And at the end of Saturday morning in the countdown, it'd be the last thing that I'd watch before I go to band rehearsal. And so it'd be the song stuck in my head mm -hmm. for the whole day. It got really irritating. And so I was learning how to play Brain Stew on the guitar, which is a Green Day song. And I started singing that song over the Green Day riff, and it just sort of happened. And then we jammed it out, and we it, everyone really liked it, and we recorded it. And we sent it off to get clearance. You have to get clearance if you do a cover song, but you change the arrangement. You've got to get them to clear it. Yeah, we found all this out. Like when we were 17, we learned all these legal terms and stuff. And they basically, there was eight songwriters or something, and one of the writers was very religious. And because we swore in the song, he said, I don't clear it. I don't give permission. So we couldn't release it. So then we played at the gigs, because it's the only place that we're really allowed to, because no one's going to stop us playing it live. So that's the only place that you can hear it. So if you guys want to hear that and a couple of other songs that you're probably not going to hear anywhere else, the shows are where you need to be. <laughs> All right, sick puppies are here. Emma, Shim, and Mark. So um, let's see, let's talk about Maybe and get into the song. We'll talk a little bit more afterwards about Tripolar and where fans can find you online and your tour and everything. Excellent. So I, I love the lyrics in Maybe. It's kind of kind of makes sense for January simply because it's Hey, let's try something new for the new year. Kind of a good feel, a good feel-good song. Is it? Is it? Do you guys have stories that relate to it on your own, or I mean, kind of the, was there an inspiration behind it, a person or fan or anybody or? Um, I think there's. I think it's kind of means a slightly different thing to each of us personally, but um, I think yeah, the reason why we wrote it was because us as a band, we we're from Sydney, Australia, and um, when we decided to come to the states and make that move and, and risk like pretty much at all mm -hmm. that that's kind of where it stemmed from because it's like we had to decide whether we were going to either just keep going in Australia or make the huge change and and kind of risk it all so we decided to do that risk it all and um, we maxed our credit cards we saved up money took out loans <laughs> that kind of thing did part-time work to save up and um, decided to, to really do that and that was kind of the inspiration behind the song as a whole but um, I think in general like it's like it's a pretty universal concept because everyone is kind of um, afraid or apprehensive of change, I think, in some way or another. So uh, I think it's, it's, it's good for anything, really. Yeah, the new year, it'll be perfect for the new year. Like, um, I don't know, there's always something that you want to change. So I don't know, it's kind of a, a good all-round purpose song. All right, you guys want to introduce it? Absolutely. Mark, would you like to introduce it with your sexy radio voice? <laughs> <coughs> Come on, man. Do do it do it do it in Australian. I want to hear your Australian. Uh, yeah. Come on, man. Do it. Have the beer garden. In yeah, I, I introduce. Mark the is the non-Australian of the band, uh, correct? Yes. No, I, I can't do it. Orig Australian. It's originally from Orange County. It's a great Australian. It does. Oh, um, yeah. Here, I'll tell you what to say. Just say, uh, "We're Sick Puppies." This is our new single. Ah, oh, this is our new hit single because we're in the top thirty. It's pretty good. Yeah, this is our new hit, hit single. Maybe. 
Where is he? In Australia? Australia? Yeah, in Australia. Oh, okay. Come on, I'm man. You're making people wait for it. You're making people wait. Come on. And no, no. go. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> Put on the spot. <laughs> no, I'm not going to do that. All right, I'll do it. Yeah. G'day, we're Sick Puppies. And uh, this is our brand new hit single. This song is called Maybe. <laughs> on the weekend, top 30. We've got to put that in. That's hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <there we> go. <laughs> <laughs> Don't forget that. Oh, man, that's so bogan. Uh.